Hi, my name is Keith Levison. I am a broker associate with MVP Realty and the team lead for Migrate Orlando. I'm also certified as a resort and second property specialist. And today I want to talk about something that by now we're all familiar with. The picture behind me um, is a scene that we're probably all know, uh, we all know too well. Um, this is a lot of the devastation that was caused by Hurricane Ian. And this is actually taken from a article um, in the New York Times. Uh, what we're looking at is, a, we know South Florida was hit really hard. And a lot of people are really concerned about what is the real estate market in Orlando going to look like. So I am here not to talk doom and gloom. I am here to give you hope. I am here to be light um, at a time that investors, homeowners could feel it's the darkest. So let's talk about all the positives. Here's the first thing. Hurricane Ian will not stop Florida. It will not stop Floridians. It will not hinder Orlando. We have over the several years, Florida has experienced several disasters, big events, you know, just so many things. Uh, some that hit the entire country, COVID-19, some that were local to just Orlando, things like mass shootings. But you know what? Orlando is a strong community. Orlando came together in every single one of these events and they fought and they raised their community above the disaster. So I don't have faith in the Orlando housing market. And you might think, wait, 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 <laughs> say that again. Yes, I do not have faith in the Orlando housing market. I have faith in the people of Orlando and their resilience and their ability to rise above. So these events are not going to hinder Orlando. And this is why so many come to Orlando to do business. Think about it, uh, Disney is here. Walt Disney World is here in Orlando. Universal Studios is here in Orlando. SeaWorld is here in Orlando. All these big companies, they're here in Orlando. I bet you didn't know this, but if you love video games, Electronic Arts, EA, is here in Orlando. We have so much in Orlando, so many large companies that appreciate what Orlando has. But here's the great thing, right? with all these large companies that are so invested in Orlando, it means they're also invested in seeing Orlando succeed. So the housing market in Orlando is not dead. Real estate in Orlando is not dead. So let's talk about what do you do going forward? Okay, here's some things. First of all, individuals that are looking to buy a home. And what I'm talking about, we're not going to talk about investors just yet. Let's talk about individuals looking to buy a home for themselves or for their family. I know you've heard me say this over and over and over again, but I'm going to say it again. Do not wait 
to buy your property. Here's the reason. Even though the hurricane hit, guess what? Property prices are going to continue to rise. Interest rates are going to continue to rise. So now's the time for you to start looking for a home. And you want to look at maybe homes that you, you think maybe, hey, you know, um, I'm looking for a particular home. Well, now is the time to invest. Here's what I mean as a home buyer, okay, is this. There were homes that were flooded. If you're handy, could you get that home and, and buy that home at a lower price than it might have sold at before and remodeled the home yourself? Um, could you buy that home and hire someone to remodel the home the way you like? and get that home for lower than it originally was gonna sell for because now it has flood damage. You may be thinking, I don't wanna deal with that. A lot of people ask, how can I support the Orlando community? I just looked at the figures. I, I don't remember off the top of my head and I apologize because I've been running around trying to help people. And yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm a little flustered because I hear a lot of negative talk, but there's so much positive, okay? If you buy or sell a home in Orlando, that purchase or that sale, if I remember right, the numbers were somewhere around $43,000 of that sale goes towards contributing to local economy. Let me say it again. When you buy or sell a property here in Orlando, approximately $43,000 goes towards supporting the local economy. You may think, how in the world is that possible? Title companies get business. Lenders get business. Real estate offices get business. All from your purchase or sale. It has a wide sweeping effect. It helps the community. So if you're looking to help the community, one way to do that is by going ahead and purchasing or selling a home here in Orlando, okay? Now, a lot of people are thinking, why in the world do I wanna buy a house in Orlando? A hurricane just hit, are you crazy? Governor, uh, our, our governor just came out and said, this was a once in a 500 year storm. What does that mean? So here in Orlando, in Florida, you have different flood zones. You have flood zone X, you have flood zone A, and for example, flood zone X does not mean that your home will not flood. Flood zone X just typically means you are the least likely to flood, and you're typically not required to carry uh, flooding insurance for your home. On the other hand, flood zone A, this is an area that is most likely going to experience flooding and typically is required to have uh, flood insurance. So a lot of Orlando is flood zone X. And while we did experience some flooding, many homes did not at all. And 
Well, I am not a weather person, a meteorologist, nothing like that. Here's what I can tell you. Um, I have lived in Orlando uh, coming on 12 years now. January, it will be 12 years. Uh, I have never evacuated for a hurricane. Uh, this is the first serious one that I've ever experienced like this. I'm not going to lie. It's the first one that I've ever experienced like this. But here's why I like living in Central Florida. Fort Myers was hit with a Category 4, almost Category 5 hurricane. Orlando, by the time the storm reached us, had diminished to a tropical storm. That is one reason I love living in Orlando. We're so centrally located that we don't experience typically as hard of a storm as the coasts do. So Orlando continues to be a great place to live. Understand, um, again, flood zone X does not mean that your property won't flood, okay? All of Florida is a flood zone, okay? The entire state is a flood zone. What they're basically telling you with flood zone X is your home is least likely to get flooded. And we see that all across Orlando. There was some flooding, but nothing comparative to what happened in Fort Myers. Let's talk investors. Investors, again, if you want to know how to support the community, you know how much a purchase or a home sale goes towards supporting local economy. So we're not going to touch on that. Let's touch on why is it brilliant to invest in Orlando right now. Well, again, think of everything that's here. People love Orlando. And understand, Orlando is not just a destination to come if you live in the United States. It is an international location. People from all over the world come here for cruises. They come here to see the theme parks. They come here to experience nature. They come here for so many things. Uh, they come here to travel up to Daytona Beach for the NASCAR races. They come here for bike week in Daytona Beach. They come to Orlando for events. If you want to know what events are going on in our Orlando, Go to the Orange County Convention Center and look at their calendar. I mean, it's packed. There's always something going on here. Conventions, um, just so much fun. There's just so much here in Orlando for people to enjoy, for families. It's an amazing place. So as an investor, one, if you love to flip homes, I tell you, now's time. Now's time to start looking at flipping homes here in Orlando. I would start looking for all those homes that were affected by flooding and start flipping. I just saw one home that is uh, typically in the area selling for 260 to 299 around there in their area. They're selling at $99,000. As an investor, you go in, you fix it up, you flip it, you sell it. What I am going to tell you as an investor is you do want to continue to analyze the deal, whether you're looking at house flipping or looking at buying properties for short term or long term rental. Continue to analyze the deal because some individuals 
their mind has not processed what's happened yet. And because of that, their homes may still be overpriced for an investor. Why do I say overpriced for an investor? Because most investors, unlike somebody who's buying a home and moving into it, right? If you buy a home and you're moving into it, you're buying that home for the community, for uh, its location, for aspects of the house that you love, um, maybe to get out of renting and start investing in yourself. Uh, you, you, you love the tile, the bathroom is gorgeous, the home speaks to you. As an investor, typically investors don't care what the tile is. They don't care what the bathroom looks like. They care about the numbers. And a lot of times they have to rehab the home in order to make the home suitable to be rented. And because of that rehab or because of expenditures, whether it's regular maintenance, a toilet breaks. I had that happen once. Literally, the bowl of the toilet just fell out. It was the craziest thing. Um, no, I do not have massive BMs. That's probably too much to share on a YouTube. Uh, but anyway, look, you're probably laughing at me. I'm laughing too. I, I just, you know, want you to understand as an investor, you still have to consider capital expenditures. Um, are you putting money away for big ticket items like the roof, AC, water heater? Um, if you're out of state, are you putting money aside for property management? These are all things you got to think about when analyzing that deal. And that's why a lot of times as an investor, you may come in a lot lower than somebody who is looking to buy a home for themselves or for their family. Here's the point. Invest in Orlando. And I'm not just telling you this because um, I don't have skin in the game. I, I have skin in the game. I am working hard. Uh, I invest in Orlando. It's a, a great place to live. Uh, and, and when I say Orlando, I mean greater Orlando, all its surrounding areas. If you're interested in buying or selling, if you're interested in investing, click the link in this video to set up an appointment with me so we can talk. Um, the link should be in the description. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, share it. Let others know why Orlando is great. Please.